college football returns to the video game industry with EA Sports College Football 25. I'm giving away two copies, one for the PS5, the other for the Xbox Series X. Go to the link in the description below and join the giveaway. Now to our feature presentation. to it and make the save. Sends a pass over. The Canucks take it along the wing. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Here we go. Four tenders at the base. They got the extra ten. Scores! And they tuck it into the wait, back wait, wait, of the net. Hang on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. The Ducks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. The Ducks have it in the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Fowler. Scores! And he's all smiles as he lights the lamp. He lights the lamp for number 100 of his career, so no longer double digit, James. He's into the triples. A special moment hitting the century mark. Just a great goal, James, and just reiterates that in today's game, the hands are separate from the body. He's stumbling and still has his eyes on the puck, not in the greatest position, but manages to get a shot off that beats the tender. 
The Ducks land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Oh well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Fowler's moving the puck through his own zone. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Picked up along the boards by Suter. Gibson with the one-timer comes up with the glove save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, one nothing is where we sit at this point. The Canucks win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. From the open ice, they gain the line. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Quick pass to Kalorn. And it's a quick pass to Lindstrom. Oh, solid save by Demko. Demko's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Patterson stick handling in his own zone. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Anaheim's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Fowler. He got all of that one. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Besser's got it into offensive territory. Grabs the puck. Quick feed to Besser. Turned aside with a glove by Gibson. More than half the frame has been played here. Anaheim's up one zip. Lafferty's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Lafferty. Moves it quickly over to Brew. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Ducks going to work on offense. Feeds it on over for Lafferty. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And that's knocked away by Lacombe. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Takes a shot. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Well, that was a hard shot, and the mask makes the save. He got his bell rung on that one, James. Unloads one. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Reaches out and uses the stick. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Lacombe's got the puck in his own zone. Now he slides it up to Strom. Strong defensive effort. The Ducks cross the blue line and are on the attack. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Beautiful read in the defensive end by McGinn. Gaining steam here on the attack. Beautiful saucer pass. Quick pass to Silverberg. Turned aside with the glove by Demko. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Takes the feed. Moves it to Suter. And that goes off a player. Answered the call there. And now it's grabbed by Suter. 21 seconds to the end of this period. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Anaheim's put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the first. Patterson's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. That 
is it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Anaheim's playing a strong game here in terms of possession and trying to get pucks to the net. They're really attacking and finding those lanes, and that's exactly what they need to do if they want to go up by more than one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Anaheim's ahead, 1-0. The Ducks come up with the defensive zone draw. Moves the puck over to Lindstrom. The Ducks played along the boards. Comes up with a big pass save to deny. Miller swooping in on the attack. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Heronic. Here's a feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Anaheim's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff, and he keeps that one out. Quick pass over to Kalorn. He carries the puck up along the wing. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. And that's off a stick. Nice defensive robbery on that. Moves the puck along the half wall. Centering feed! And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Huge steal in his own end. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Shot! Denies him in front. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Puck picked up by Lacombe. And he takes the dish. That's gloved by Demko. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing the score. Suters won the faceoff. Tosses it to Mikheyev. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. And he hangs on to the puck. And now it's over to Suter. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Takes the pass. Poked away by Myers. Here he is on the backhand. And a good save on the play as action continues. Here he is, shot right in front. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Straight up the middle, here they come. Center into the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Gibson's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head in focus in the game. Anaheim's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides the puck across to Silverberg. Pinned up along the boards. Through center along the wing. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, he looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Anaheim's extended the lead to two goals now here in the second. They look good tonight. Well, they look great, and I'm not surprised by the score. I mean, they've dictated the pace of play, but it's more about how they've dominated in the shot selection. They put a lot to the net, James, and they've been rewarded for it. Pedersen's won the draw. The Canucks played along the wing. 
Sets the pass down low. And that's intercepted by Fowler. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And they'll dump it in. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. The Ducks gain possession. Takes the feet at the back end. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Well, this is a hard-working goal as well, James. you got to fight for that inner area of the ice, you know, and when you're in that low-slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're going to come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. Anaheim's now leading 3-0, and we're only in period number two. Well, they've had a commanding presence all game, and it's really been a game of keep away where they've dominated in terms of possession. They're finding ways to take it to the net, James. They're sharing the puck. They're doing all things well. You know that the coach is going to love this one. Miller's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Moves it to the middle! Opportunity there. The Ducks are going to serve two for tripping here. The Canucks will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Moves it quickly over to Hoplander. What a stop as he puts out the fire! <laughs> Lafferty's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Here's a short pass to Mikheyev. Cutting to the front of the net! Tanner comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Silverbirds recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. That goes off a twig. And it totally whiffs on that one. That knocks it off the puck. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Quick pass to Garland. What a steal in his own end. The Ducks have been the better team tonight by far. I mean, this is coming right off of without the puck. They know when to close. They know how to intercept. And it's all because of their awareness and stems from their positioning. Look at this, 2 on one And that rush comes to an end after a great defensive play. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves it to Garland. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Chance in front. Turns it away. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And that's off target as it hits a body. We've got to give him an A for effort. I mean, he's clearly banged up, James, but he's trying to stay in the play even though he's struggling. Now a quick pass to Garland. In all alone! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Hoaglander's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The Ducks are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. The Canucks once again send out their power play unit. When you're struggling on your power play, you gotta get your shots through. Net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And when there's a rebound, you have to find a way. the puck and this is just a clinic in that area James where he is a leading example of how to shield how to position and then of course how to finish it off 
The Canucks desperately needed that, and Cheryl, I know I sound like Captain Obvious on that one. Well, two-goal deficit is certainly better than a three-goal deficit, James. I know I'm Captain Obvious as well there. But finding a way to get it done, there's a lot of time left in this game for them to claw their way back in. It just takes one to reset the sale. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Canucks are still trailing by two. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Taken along the wall by Kalorn. Slides it to Terry. Feeds it over to Lindstrom. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Quick feed to Lindstrom. That's blocked by Demko. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. The Canucks win the draw on their own end. Miller's picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Here he is in front! Off the post! The Canucks are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Slides the puck over. The Ducks move to the offensive zone. Sends it in front. Misses the net. Slides it back to the blue line. Joshua's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And here comes the judgment from the official. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 one, one sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Made that stop. Gibson's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, this team's played well. They've got more north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. McTavish's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. Fowler's got it behind his own net. And the puck clears the zone. Handles the pass at center. Makes his presence known on the ice. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Here's a short pass to Bluger. Oh, tremendous stop on the play. Huge. He might have a step here. All alone. Oh, what a save. Great pressure with the stick. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. McKay has got it along the wing. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Cuts to the front. And he uses the glove to keep that out, getting a piece of it. Oh, wow, stops the game. Knocked off the puck. Trying to clear the zone. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. And he slides it quickly to Heronic. And he takes the feed. Sends a pass in front. And that's stopped. Quick pass to Pedersen. And that's blocked away. The Ducks have it against the wall. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Well, that's just a great sequence of events with that power play unit, the way they were moving the puck, the execution with their passes and the scoring chances that they did get it. Sometimes it doesn't go in, but if they continue that, you've got to figure their numbers are going to go up. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Ducks are up 3-1. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Handles the puck at the point. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock. 
lock it away. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes it. Oh, what the buzzer, a big save. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. You're having a great night. Two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. To the low side. Net knocked off. It's Mori. We'll get a face off. Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Pass it down, pass it down. The Ducks win it. Grabbed along the board by Fowler. Moves it to Kalorn. And now he moves it quickly to Fowler. Taken by Kalorn. Demko's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Anaheim's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Quick snap! Off the glove and the puck skips away! When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. possession of the puck off the draw. Let's see what the officials are calling. Carries off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play creates so much energy and it's just average. You can feel a bit deflated. Everyone expects a power play to score Guess what? It doesn't. They move the puck out of harm's way. Quick feed to Mikheyev. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to Groove. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, he knew where this puck was going. He's got a book on the shooter, James, and he gets square in front. Great position and makes the save. Battle along the wall. Here's a short pass to McKayev. Anaheim's penalty killers get a hold of it. They get it out of the defensive end. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Looking to break out here on the power play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heronik. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck sent over to Lafferty. The Canucks take it along the wall. Handles the pass. Takes a shot. Oh, major league block on the play. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Quick pass to Mikheyev. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Centering pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Skates in behind the cage. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Here's another chance. Misses the net. Scores! just hit the doctor. Hold it and they cut into the lead. Oh, uh, yeah, after that goal, you can sense the momentum shift, James. And it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. Uh, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. McTavish's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Anaheim's crossed the line and on the attack. The shot, nothing! There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it and he misses the net. 
Great defensive effort with the stick. Now he takes it over the line. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Zadorov's got the puck. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Kalorn's lugging the puck. And he takes the pass. Fires it. Gets in front of it. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Vancouver's trailing by one. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Nice zone entry from the middle. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Here they come. Hill on the left side on the attack. Quick shot. A big save. This shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. The Ducks win that offensive zone faceoff. Great save. Played it perfect. Quick feed down low. Puck scooped up by Suter. Handles the pass from the right wing. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Anaheim's gained the line and into the zone. Picked up along the wall by Terry. And that goes off a stick. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Vancouver's got the puck against the wall. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Anaheim's looking to break out. Passes the puck over to Lindstrom. And he slides it quickly to Terry. Here's a shot. Denied by Demko. Pucks it away in his own end. Bluger's got it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Zadorov. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Oh, there's one more. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a faceoff. The Golden Knights are up next, according to the league schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Cole. Lock jam in front, that's broken up. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight, it's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Miller's got the puck along the wing. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Rocks him into the boards. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Takes a shot. Scores! The rookie's done it. He has his first goal. He's been so impressed with this young man. I mean, he's got elite skill set, and he finds the back of the net for his first of the NHL. There's going to be more to come, James. And the rookie gets his first goal, and that will be one he will never forget, James. And everyone on the bench is standing up congratulating him. What a moment. Well, a where were you moment in that household because he's got his first ever goal. And that's going to feel good, and it's a milestone moment, James. No question about it. It's his first ever, and there's only one of those. So you can expect that that puck will be somewhere on his wall, in his house, somewhere. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Picked up along the boards by Cece. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. What an opportunity looming as they go back to work on the power play. Well, the power play hasn't been great, but the coaching staff knows that it is right now at this critical time. They have to settle their team down. The Stars, they're big players. they got to want that puck on the stick. That's why they're paid the big bucks. Pumps up 
what the stop. Gibson's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Oh, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Tries to get it out of the zone. Oh, and that's a big time clear there. Uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. You got to find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focused on the details, and you made sure you got it. Fantastic save! Gibson's aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. The Canucks will play it in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Hughes. Gains it down low. Here's a blast! And he stops that kid in there! Wow! Strong's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Vancouver's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Gibson's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. His reflexes on display tonight. Gibson's got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. And now he passes up to Miller. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving. And when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four four hockey on tap. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Oh, the doorstep! Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too! Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. And they win the draw on their own end. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. The Ducks have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, blocked down by Gibson. Quick shot, and there's another stop. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Throws it in. Anaheim's got the puck. Now a quick pass to Terry. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Moves it to McTavish. Let's it go. Lucky bounce for the goaltender as it goes off the inside of the iron and stays out. Anaheim's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately it hits the post and out. Pedersen's almost back on the ice. Made the stop on that play. Stops him again! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Here in the late going of the frame, Anaheim's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Canucks pick up Steven and are on the attack. And that's intercepted by Vetrano. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. The Canucks have been called for hooking. Face off and another opportunity. 
opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Centering P, and that's intercepted. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. They desperately need a good... Who hits the post on a wide-open cage? I think I would have done that, James. Just, you have to know where you're at on the ice. Take the time that you're given, and a quick release right to the middle of the net makes the most sense to me. Towards the end the net. Oh, it can't connect. The Canucks have it behind the net. Take it along the wall by Vetrano. Great pass off the boards. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Vancouver's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winner to steal the puck. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. The Ducks got off to a great start and then just really settled down in their own end the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a balancing act, really. You want some offense, but then you also have to be able to play on the other side of the puck. It was all one way in the first period. They settled in, were able to protect the middle of the ice, deflect to the perimeter, and they gave them a real opportunity, and they got the W. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.